Actually, playoff time in Tennessee. The road to Chattanooga begins tonight. And our path starts with our game of the week between Granger and Gibbs. The Grizzlies are looking for an upset in their first playoff win since 2000. Gibbs looking to get things going early, though, and they do when Bryson Palmer takes the snap and beats the fender to the edge for the score. Fly, Eagles fly. They're up early. Granger had trouble moving the chains all night long, and after a turnover on downs, Palmer again takes the snap, fakes the handoff, and finds Cayman Schoen on a screen pass who takes it all the way down to the three-yard line before being shoved out of bounds. That play would set up an easy walk-in score for Nathan Butler. Gibbs leads 21 to nothing into the second quarter now. And Palmer this time, he's going to find Bryson Walker who breaks. Let's count them up. One, two, <laughs> three, oh. four, and five tackles before being drowned down with a goal to go. That play sets up Nathan Butler, who dives into the end zone to put the Eagles up 28-0. Gibbs Van decked out pirate attire for tonight's game. Look at that, that's nice. The Eagles offense was clicking on all cylinders tonight as Palmer finds Cayman shown again over the middle, who drags a defender into the end zone to put Gibbs up 35-0 just before the break. Gibbs wins big tonight, 49-14 the final. And I'm joined by Gibbs' head coach, Coach Turner. Quite the showing out there. I know your offense is used to putting up points, but today it was your defense that shined. What can you say about that defense? Man, we had a great game plan this week. The coaches did a fantastic job of coming in. We just basically simplified things. Uh, we knew they liked to run the football, and we knew that we'd have to win the ball game on the line of scrimmage. So our guys up front, both sides of the ball, did a fantastic job. Nathan Butler had an outstanding game out there. What can you say about him as a player? This is Nathan's fifth game. He, uh, he had meniscus surgery halfway through. I think he played one game against Halls, and then he set out, and this is his third game or fourth game back. And I think he's got over 600 yards rushing uh, and I think 14 touchdowns in five games. How much is he the engine to your offense? Well, him and Bryson Palmer, our quarterback, uh, by far. We, we lean on those guys, and they do a good job of opening it up for our receivers of Cayman Schoen and Bryson Walker two explosive players so it's tough you got to pick and choose what you want to stop and they've done a good job of doing that when we talked to your players earlier this week they both said if we just play our game we're going to win this game how much did the game go the way you wanted it to I think they did a fan I mean perfect it went perfectly uh, when, it, when your defense plays that well offensively we knew we had a had an advantage there so our guys did a great job they were ready uh, moving on to the second round of the playoffs mm -hmm. Week 12 on the road. <laughs> You're heading on the road again. How much does it say about your team that you continue to win games when you're not even playing a home game? Yeah, I think they just enjoy playing the game. Uh, we, we've talked before going through the 2020 season of COVID and not knowing if you're going to play. These seniors have been through that, so I think they're just happy to play the game and show up every day ready to go to work. 